Good evening, everyone. Phil here, and welcome to the Daily Wrap for what was Friday the 9th of September, 2022. This is only a five-day streaming week for me, just so you know. Um, but, man, it's been an eventful one so far. Came back today from break. Immediately had a great celebration this morning because my false copyright strikes here on DSP Gaming have been removed. We had a big celebratory Level 1 podcast this morning where I covered all the information you need to know about the asshole troll who basically tried to strike me down with false bullshit. He was thwarted. It's all been removed. Uh, I cover in detail not only the absolutely ludicrous nonsense that the guy said to YouTube, but just in general, <clears throat> how the YouTube system for copyright works, how this happened, and how, you know, I'm working to avoid it in the future, but it's not foolproof, okay? But good news is all the nonsense has been lifted, all right? So great streaming day today. First stream, we checked out Splatoon 3. After playing it one session, <clears throat> admittedly, didn't get too far. I probably played it for like two and a half hours, maybe three hours tops, but mostly two and a half. Um, didn't really get that far. You know, the game still has that weird rotation rule. We could only play two maps of Turf War at a time. And then every, what is it, every two to three hours, it rotates around to different maps. But sometimes you can end up getting the same maps back to back, which is really fucking stupid. Um, I didn't. I ended up getting two sets of maps, which was great. I played on four different ones. Uh, but I basically am just getting the hang of it. Started out with the regular gun, then the paint roller. <clears throat> Bought the crossbow. Tried that for a couple of matches. Didn't really get it yet. I think it's more d distance weapon. Um, then I started trying to use the Gatling gun, and I was doing pretty good with that, and then I ran out of time. So, I had a good time with it. You know, I haven't played Splatoon in a long time. It feels pretty identical to the old Splatoon with maybe a few variations on the throwables and the, the super moves that you can do. Uh, and this crossbow is the new weapon, and I'm sure there's going to have many more weapons that weren't in the original game that I played many years ago. <clears throat> for the most part, the premise is exactly the same. Take over the territory with paint, kill the enemies, wash, rinse, repeat. Now, there is a new mode that I guess was added in Splatoon 2, which I skipped, called Salmon Run, where basically you're fighting hordes of salmon. It's like horde mode, you and others teaming up against salmon coming out of the water. And I guess you fight them, you know, super bosses and stuff are coming out and things like that. Seems all right, but again... Just seems kind of like stuff you've done before. Like, I, like we play Plants vs. Zombies game and stuff like that. It's kind of very similar to that. So honestly, so far, I don't dislike it. But I'm not really blown away either. It definitely feels like just Splatoon again. Really. Again, it, I don't really see anything like standing out as, Oh my god, look how awesome and different and improved this is from the last two games. It kind of feels the same. Which is fine, but the question of longevity really lingers. Will this be a game that I'm going to want to play and you guys are going to want to see over and over? Or is this a game that I'm going to play for a week, you guys are going to get bored and no one ever wants to see it ever again? That's kind of what happened with the old Splatoon. Like, the old Splatoon, I played much longer than people even really wanted to see it on the stream because I was enjoying it, but it got tired and boring and people just said, eh, move on. So I did. <clears throat> What's weird about Splatoon is, in Japan, it is the shooter. And what I mean by that is, in Japan... They don't play Call of Duty. They don't play Battlefield. They don't play Halo. They don't play Valorant. They don't play Apex Legends. They only play Splatoon. Because why? I'll tell you why. Because it's Japanese-designed and Japanese-centric. Part of their culture. In Japan, they very much like things made in Japan. <laughs> okay? Which is why they have giant sellers that don't really sell other places. That's kind of how it is over there. Um, And so... Uh, I'm not surprised to hear that apparently Splatoon right now is insanely huge in Japan, but outside of Japan, people are playing it, but it's not like, you know what I mean? Like, oh my God, this is the killer app of the Switch this year or something like that. So here's the thing. I liked it. I definitely want to play more because I feel, I feel like I just got a first taste of it today <clears throat> and I haven't even touched the campaign, which apparently is its own story-based deal for several hours of gameplay. Um, but I wasn't blown away either. Okay. Then on the late stream, it was Friday Night Fights, the Capcom Fighting Collection. I am pleased to say this week we got more matches. Um, still tougher to get matches these days. It was a lot of Dark Stalkers. A lot of, and by the way, I'm not kidding. Every match I played was laggy. There wasn't a single match without lag tonight. It was all lag fest stuff. People getting away with shit, just jumping back and forth, throwing fireballs. You can't even get around them because of the lag and stuff. Teleporting and shit. Ugh. It's frustrating. It really is frustrating because... You know, oh, rollback netcode is the answer. It's it's such a great thing. It's not. It's just as bad as other netcode. But idiots just believe everything they're told. Really. It's just, it's ludicrous that people would think this is any better than other netcode. It's just as bad, if not more abusable. Um, <clears throat> When you get a collection like this where there's just not a lot of people playing it, it really shows. Okay? The good news is, 
We still had a great time. There was more matches than last week. I will keep Friday Night Fights and the Capcom Fighting Collection in the rotation for now and hope for the best, and hopefully we can keep having good Friday nights, but we'll see what happens, okay? So, overall, gameplay day, great. Podcast, great. Everything went great today, and support also was great. Did we hit a vest goal? No, but we still had great support on both streams. I'm not complaining. Thank you all for a great streaming day, all right? Now, what about tomorrow? Well, that's in your hands, because the mainstream tomorrow is up to you. Right now, the moment I finish filming this, okay, I'm going to head over to the main channel page of DSP Gaming, to the community tab, and I'm going to post up a poll. The poll is going to be, do you want to see more Splatoon 3 on the first stream on Saturday, or do you want me to go back to Saints Row 1 to head into the end game content? For those who haven't followed uh, up with that, <clears throat> I have, I believe, seven story missions left to beat Saints Row 1, um, but the problem is to do them, you have to grind to get the rep in order to unlock them. So, likely, a couple hours of grinding rep, couple hours of missions, that's the whole stream, and I'm probably not going to beat it in the next session. More than likely, it's going to take me two sessions to beat Saints Row 1, okay? So, if you want me to alternate and go to Saints Row 1 tomorrow and do more Splatoon on Sunday, we can do that, or you can vote the other way and see more Splatoon on Saturday and then Saints Row on Sunday. Either way is fine. FYI, the next game I'm playing is going to be Earthbound, so when Saints Row finishes, Earthbound is next on the agenda, but this is only a five-day streaming week, so likely I'm not going to get to that this week, Okay? <clears throat> Saturday night, Disney Dreamlight Valley. I'm going to check it out. It's on Game Pass, early access, not full release yet. But essentially what it is is you're in a virtual town, kind of like you're a villager, kind of like in um, Animal Crossing, and you're interacting with all these Disney characters, you know, doing things in the town. Someone had said, oh, we're watching a stream, and some Goofy was planting flowers, so you were helping him plant plants. I was like, horrible spoilers. How could you tell me such a horrible thing? Now I hate the game because you spoiled the whole plot. You see, it's like Animal Crossing. There's not a heck of a lot going on. It's more, more meant to be relaxing fun. So if you're okay with that, you know, it's a good game. But I don't know how many people are going to be in love with that kind of gameplay. It might be at once or twice a week we play this as a chill night stream and that's it. You see? Anyway, <clears throat> I want to check that out tomorrow night. All right? And then keep in mind, Sunday, again, whatever loses the poll for tomorrow will be Sunday's mainstream. And Sunday is Sunday Night Bites. Uh, Bassmaster Fun, which, of course, we have all these new lures and things that we can actually add to the mix. And we hit the full uh, $100 tips goal. Guys, thanks so much. This was a great day back today. A big, positive, triumphant return to streams. Having no copyright strikes on the channel felt great. We got new members today. Like, everything was good. No complaints, man. Can't wait for another day tomorrow. And by the way, be sure to vote overnight on what you want to see in the morning. All right, guys, peace out. Have a good night. See you in the a.m.